Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. Found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iocan. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? I'm seen as an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Asina? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. Everyone will be considered a suspect. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Someone stabbed me in the back. Was it you? This is preposterous. Answer the question. My life is an open book. Scour every detail and you'll find I would never betray you. I'll be the judge of that. So be it. Just don't let my dirty laundry distract you from the war. You've dealt a crushing blow to the Republic, but they stubbornly refuse to surrender. A fight for Iacath rages on. The Republic can't fight forever. Without Malcolm's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. It's so close I can almost taste it. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Excuse me, my lord. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. It's been a long time, Quinn. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused and found myself in Imperial prison. I was locked away for years until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. Yet still, you remained in hiding. I actually tried to approach you once when you visited Asina on Drummond Kass. But I lost my nerve. I worried you'd never forgive me. For Darth Barras, for returning to the Empire. You're dead to me, Quinn. Please! I can explain! I should have crushed the life from your body the second you betrayed me to Darth Barras. My lord! I have dreamt of this moment for years. Now, after all this time, I finally get to watch you die. Commander! Oh, I see. 
so much for Major Quinn. Anyone who betrays me will share Quinn's fate. I certainly hope so. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>